So tell me, you're a fitness expert. Yes, I am. In 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 Delhi, is it? Right. Good and what is what? Where do you work currently? I'm a freelancer. I work as a freelancer. Means what? Uh, you go to people's houses and teach yes. them. You are right. So you would come to my house and uh, have uh, fitness sessions with me. Is it like yeah. that? Yes. And is that uh, a good business model? Do you make a lot of money? Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> How much do you make in a month? And um, uh, sorry, I cannot share because this video is going to be uploaded on YouTube. Is it? Oh, okay, good, good. <laughs> No, because the reason why I asked you is that because it's a very unique, uh, a very unique uh, uh, industry, you know, uh, fitness. Usually, I, I I would view fitness experts to be in uh, in a gym. You are uh, freelancing, so that's why I asked. I mean, is is there something like that in this world? I never knew that uh, there were fitness instructors who were uh, freelancing. I always thought that you would be associated in a hotel or a gym. Uh, improve your English. You speak relatively okay. Do you feel that you lack something in confidence or what is it? Yeah, I, obviously I need to improve my communication, right? Because okay. there is always room for improvement. Okay. And uh, right now with your clients, do you speak to them in English or in Hindi? English, Hindi, both. With your clients, do you speak to them in English? Speaking English, properly. Hindi, both. both, both, both. They speak both. Okay. Because you, you, you look relatively experienced. So uh, it's, it's, it's good to know. It's good to know. Thank so you. what is the Thank topic you. for today? Othering. What is the topic for today? Othering. 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 Yes, othering. So do you know what othering is? Is basically something like slangs in English, uh, in the English language, where over a period of time when you, like in Hindi, you would have certain, certain, uh, certain phrases that you would use, which, uh, which might, not, might not be exactly related to the topic you're talking about, but uh, it's something similar, uh, like, you okay. know, uh, you might say something like, uh, kutta ne kata, you know, uh, uh, you know, it's nothing to do with the dog you're talking about, but you might be using it in another, in another way. Uh, in English, we have a lot of them. Uh, do you watch, do you get time to watch any English movies or any English serials? No, I don't watch English movie or English serial because I okay. don't take time. And I listen to podcast. I, I listen to, okay. uh, I, I watch uh, motivational videos. Is it in English? Yeah. Okay. And that's where you pick up your language, is it? Your language skills? Yeah. Right, I right. think that I think that is a very good thing to do because uh, in podcasts, uh, you can focus only on the person's voice. Uh, when it comes to watching movies, what happens is that uh, it becomes a little difficult because English is used by the Americans and the British. And sometimes we cannot differentiate which is the right, uh, the right way to, to use that, uh, that language. So uh, that's what it is. Okay, so which class is this in Klapingo? I think... More than 150 plus, I think, 150, 160. So when you started in Klapingo, did you, did, are you, were you the same, like how it was today? Or were you worse? We do not speak I, English. I, <laughs> I, uh, what I say, I was good, but now I'm improving. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So tell me, so tell me something about uh, about your day. How does your typical day as a fitness instructor pan out? So uh, what I wake up around four fifteen, right, 
and I, I do meditation, I do prayer. I, 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 I sorry, I, I, I do meditate, I meditate, I, I pray, then I do, I affirm my, with myself, right? And, and then I uh, get out of my home to train people. I come back around 11 o'clock in the afternoon, in, in the morning. morning. Okay. Uh, yeah, in, in the morning. Yes, yeah, okay. Uh, and then I cook. After having my breakfast, I take a rest for one hour and then I read books. And then I, I work on, in the middle of the day, I work on myself. Right. Okay. Then okay. I, uh, afterwards, I, again, I go out to train people. I come back around 9.30 or 9.45. Again, I have to cook meal and after having dinner, I, I read something. I go through my notes and I write down my all goals and dreams and wishes on, on the piece of paper. And then after I meditate, I pray and then hit the bed. Okay, I think it's a very interesting way you described your day. Uh, I could notice that uh, uh, you were recollecting a lot. So I think the reading of the books has paid off because a very few of uh, the people who I have tutored tell me that at the end of the day, they'll do something called journaling. So what you basically do at the end of the day is something which is called journaling. You would write down, uh, you know, what are your aspirations, what went wrong today, what didn't go wrong today. Uh, which I think uh, is, right. is good. Uh, it's, it's a good start to go ahead. And when do you listen to the podcasts? Uh, while working out, when I do exercise, okay. I do work out or I, when I cook. Okay, right. so, so that's the time you would, uh, you would uh, listen to the podcasts. Yeah. And yeah, what yeah. kind of podcasts have you listened to most recently? About self-development, uh, business, uh, how to grow your business, how you can make impact, you know. Okay. Yeah, self-development, obviously self-development. Mainly self-development. Mm -hmm. Okay, anything, anything striking has come about? Uh, anything, any kind of a podcast you could remember that you listened to recently, uh, which, which made you think? Yeah, I have listened to mm, a podcast that is what, uh, Joe Dispenza, he's a icon author of uh, many books. Uh, he, it is about meditation, how you can manifest, you know, the things you want. Okay. Yeah, okay. he's a scientist, right? Okay. So, so do you he, believe in manifestations? Yes, I believe. Okay, okay, okay. And are you a fitness, are you an SNC coach or are you into yoga and meditation? What kind of a coach are you? I'm into fitness, weight training, you know, weight loss. I'm not into okay. yoga. Okay. Weight loss. But you do practice, do you, but you do practice some form of meditation and yoga? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, today's topic was uh, about other things and it's basically about things, which basically means that example straight from the horse's mouth. Do you know what does that mean? That idiom straight from the horse's mouth mean? Yes, yes. yes. It means that uh, I, I got this information, the person who was into this, into that matter, right? Yes, yes. So you got it straight from the horse's mouth, the person who, uh, who actually did, made the incident. And what about uh, look before you leap? Look before you leap. Uh, get to know everything about whatever you are going to do and before you make a decision and and have you have, have you ever experienced anything like that where uh, you had to uh, look before you leaped uh, you had to gather all the information before you made a decision have you ever experienced anything like that yeah, before, before like take an example that before you have to buy any property right land or house okay. Before okay. buying it, right? You have to get to know about the background of that property, right? That house, how, how you know, what is the height, what is the you know, length, what is the quality of that house, you know, who is the owner. Okay. So these all things you get to know before you know, taking that, the exact example would be. Okay. 
do you uh, do you learn english words i, I have uh, something for you um um every day in your day since you listen to podcasts and things like that i'm sure you might be coming across different kind of words which you do not know the meaning of what do you do at that time uh, i don't do that at that time i find out what meaning which i find in book right in, in book. book okay then i write it down if i'm listening a you know a words um, from different speakers same words from different different speaker and I, i i believe that this is the i think prime words we I, and i don't know i google it and find out the meaning of that like okay. uh, vulnerable vulnerable i am unable to pronounce vulnerable okay. vulnerable 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 right mm. so i i mm. i people used to speak about that the speaker used to speak I, i i didn't know but later on i found out that most of the speaker is using these words again and again so i must know so then i found in google and that's what now and and what does vulnerable mean vulnerable means uh, we are worried i think you are tensed something like that right worried tense means, um yes in a way you're right uh, in in a way you feel weak uh, like for example i'll give you an example uh, the the robber entered the 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 neighbor's house mm mm-hmm, mm mm-hmm. so the neighbor felt very vulnerable means the neighbor felt you know very overpowered or very weak very right. scared to not know and in life a lot of times these speakers do use these words vulnerable because a lot of times we are vulnerable inside deep down inside um so that kind of thing so what i want you to do uh, deepak is that whenever you get a word try to write it down and in a day try to get five words that you do not know so what mm-hmm. what usually happens is that i can see right now that you can understand me and i can understand you so your conversational english is okay uh however you don't use big words because you do not know much of the vocabulary right mm-hmm. now you're on the right path when it comes to podcasts and you're doing something that you like which is a very important thing um so what i want you to do is if possible in a day learn three new words you write three new words down and mm-hmm. and guess what happens after a month if you if you learn three words in a day how many words would you learn in a month nine day precisely so your vocabulary would have actually increased by 90 if you learn five new words in a day so you try uh in sentences of your own listening to them is one thing practicing them is another thing do you read the newspaper no i don't okay uh do you do you uh, you listen look at the news on the phone no i don't i don't read news or because uh, i i i don't like reading news uh, people okay. must aware but i don't okay. that is chaos you know most of the time negative you know the pandemic is also going up now we get and get into your home wear mask this thing happen here bomb blasting this that stabbing robbery so i do not no, i got wanna... your point uh, i think because you've done so much of reading in your life you have understood the fact that what the way we react is basically on what we think what we hear and what we see right and in order for us to have a peaceful mind and a focused mind we should we should train our mind how to think correct and sure, sure. since we train our mind to think if we train our mind to uh in order for us to train our mind to think we need to be careful as to what enters our mind if garbage keeps on entering our mind our mind will sit and think in that kind of a fashion also right so garbage in garbage same out same thing with, <laughs> yes the same thing with uh, the your thoughts if you start you know always thinking about negative things negative things would happen to you you would look at life in a negative way right 
<laughs> so now sure. I can understand. I, I, I mean, the way you're, you're reacting, I know that you can understand me. So I think you're one of those few people who yeah. understand that just because it's news, you don't get it all in. You be selective as to what you should hear and what you should think about. So that's sure. a very sure. focused, focused mind. The reason I asked you is because uh, some of the uh, people who I train, I talk to in English, I tell mm -hmm. them to read something, maybe a book or anything, and to read loudly in front of the yep. mirror, right? Yeah. I do not know if other instructors have told you this. I'm sure someone has. If you take a book and you start reading, I can see a lot of books behind you, which mm -hmm. is a good thing. Uh, Atomic Habits is a good book to read. Uh, and there are so many other books that I know. But uh, one of the things that uh, uh, that is good when it comes to reading a book is you read the book in front of the mirror loudly, mm -hmm. not screaming the way you're talking. Mm -hmm. And you look at yourself in the mirror. What happens is that subconsciously your mind understands that you're speaking English. You're reading in English. And it kind of relaxes you deep down inside. It kind of helps you with that self-confidence you might have where you don't want to speak English. You feel that, you know, because you don't know English, you might not be able to speak properly. So subconsciously your mind understands that you are reading a paragraph in English and it can see, your eyes can see it. So it's a circle inside your mind, which, which basically works. A lot of my uh, people who I've trained have found a little relaxed feeling when they read loudly. They get their self-confidence up actually. Mm -hmm. It might work with you, it might not work, but that was just a suggestion. That's why I asked you if you read any mm -hmm. newspapers. Oh, you are Do you right. the meaning of thunder? Go on. No, I, I, do, I don't read books in, in front of the mirror, but I, I affirm in front of my, uh, I, whenever I do affirmation, I, I stand in front of the mirror and I affirm that things. Which is a good thing, which is a very good thing, Deepak. Uh, a very few people who I've met actually do affirmations. Uh, this is something that my staff do in the company that I work for. Um, but, uh, and I happen to work for a company that uh, uh, is into fitness, by the way. That's why I know a lot, something about the fitness industry. That's why one of the questions I asked you was, how much do you earn in a month? <laughs> I have an idea how much you earn in a month. Uh, being a physical trainer, fitness trainer is a beautiful thing, but it's also a very difficult thing, uh, especially sometimes when I think you get happiness when you see your clients improving, right? Because <laughs> that's, the, that's the happiness you actually get. It's not about the money. It's about seeing that person improve. 100% uh, true, sir. 100% true. I, I told, so, talk to my, to my client that, you know, your money makes me happy, but your results makes me super happy. Yes. Yes, I agree. I agree with you. So I, I basically work uh, for a company which uh, uh, does gyms for, I mean, corporate gyms. We have got a contract in, um, in Gurgaon as well as in Bangalore and things like that. We have got personal trainers with us. Why don't you try online, uh, online training? Uh, I know it's a little difficult, but give it a shot. Um, you know, uh, maybe some of your clients might... Uh, adapt to it. It could increase your uh, bandwidth because a lot of, uh, I know for you, it might be difficult because you are strength and fitness, but we do know that uh, some of our coaches, for example, do online training and mm -hmm. the client is in the gym. So they would tell them to, you know, to do this, these many reps, so this is exercise, et cetera, et cetera. But online training is something which, uh, uh, which is happening. And that's also uh, COVID, uh, covid free you know uh, so mm -hmm. think about that anyway do you know um, do you, do you know um, the meaning of thunder thunderstorm thunderstorm means andhi tufan in english <laughs> english yeah thunderstorm you call that you know uh, wind is lightning. blowing yes it's with lightning and heavy rain yeah heavy rain right? yeah, yeah. What is boredom? 
boredom means i'm tired of doing this all thing i'm tired of eating you know same meal every day okay boredom. so you basically boredom means you're bored bored yeah. means uh bored means doing the repeated same things every day uh yeah. i'm sure you would uh, you would notice that with your clients and uh, you would change the exercise uh, at that time uh what about uh, trivial i'm sorry trivial Tri- yes trivial i don't know sorry trivial is uh, of very less importance so sometimes in your life you'll find friends of yours who will argue with you over trivial matters mm-hmm. why you do not pick up my mobile phone i called you three times <laughs> i was busy here so that is called a trivial matter it's a small okay. small thing mm-hmm. so you know you don't get into trivial arguments with people you look at the big picture um, there's a very beautiful book called the art of war and uh, it says that in life we should lose our battles to uh, to win the war we should lose the small Battles. in order to win the war you have to lose battle don't lo- lose war in order to win the battle yes yes <laughs> true <laughs> very true so what is detachment detachment means detachment get away from the things you are attached to much attached from the things right i am attached with my mom right so in order to make my my in order to make fortune i have to detach i have to stay away from her so that i can you know, work on myself i can make money so a I lack can... of emotion or personal yeah a lack of emotion or or of personal interest the detachment is you detach yourself from certain things you you are a gym in, you are a fitness instructor but you love sweets a lot so you detach yourself uh from eating so many sweets you 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 are a fitness instructor but you love to go to the bar to drink you detach your friend you detach yourself from some friends mm-hmm. some kind of friends so that is a uh, detachment what about marginal marginal merging in each other no that's merge marginal is a uh, uh, small okay you know uh, margins they they call it small measurements uh, so it's not very so so in other words it's it's marginal population uh, is uh, below the poverty line that means a small part of the population is below the poverty line or marginal uh, number of uh, people are above uh, above a certain percentage so marginal means small uh okay. it's it's a small part so basically that is what marginal means and what about uh, something like compassion compassion means kind kindness very uh, common word for you know i'm sure you would have heard it in a lot of your podcasts yes uh, sympathy pity we should have compassion uh, with fellow human beings we should have something which is called uh, eq today uh there's emotional quotation how how well you understand the other person and yeah. as a fitness uh fitness coach you would have a very high eq you would understand you would be able to uh correct me if i'm wrong you would be able to look at the person's face and understand is he enjoying that exercise or not yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> that's i know this is because i uh, i have been i've been around with a lot of uh fitness instructors now uh okay. so i kind of understand what they are doing and all of that so you must be also having some certifications with you right <laughs> yeah yeah okay so those are international or, or local uh, indian or or international international is irat here okay 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 because the other day i came around something called Na- nasm n a s m or something nasm that's also an in international yeah yeah so those are those are good things to have uh, keep uh, as a fitness instructor keep studying 
keep uh, you know uh, building your credibility i have a person who is with with our company he's got seven different kind of uh, uh, certifications in seven different arts right from tai chi to taekwondo to strength and fitness to yoga and it's like he said clyde i like to do it and it's very similar he said our happiness does not come from the money our happiness comes from the fact that the person in front of us is changing their lives anyway thank you mr deepak uh, today's class is uh, getting over it was wonderful interacting with you and i hope you enjoyed it okay you too thank you so much for connecting thank you, with sir. me bye bye okay. thank bye -bye. you bye bye bye